Ten, oh. See if we can leave that queen in the center for a long. Let's uh, go here because we obviously want to push this pawn. Just holding off for a second. Oh, maybe we're not going to get that done at all. Let's go here then. Let's attack the pawn. The pawn can't take because of the x-ray. Now they've brought a pawn here. Does that help the case? No, not yet. What do we want to do? Hit the pawn. Putting more pieces on the attack. Can anything else defend? Nope. Doesn't look that way. That no was like a strong no, like I knew it was sorted, but it, I don't know. It feels like it's okay. So I'm going to take, probably take the queen. Take the pawn. And then it's, everybody's happy. A plus one. Position doesn't feel too bad. They've gone into there and want to get the bishop out, maybe to here, aiming towards the king area where the king is now. We do have a two on one, well, potential two on one on the knight. So they've moved the bishop to help protect. I'm going to just keep doubling anyway. Fierce bishop looking to. Oh, they're not playing ball. They're not playing ball. I'm going to x ray through to the king to be a bit annoying. It's moved off the x ray, so the bishop can take. King's a little bit out of whack, so then bishop can attack the bishop. Have to be careful of the back rank mate. So we're going to take, if we did do this and we did take, pawn takes, rook takes, going to attack. Because that's where the problem would lie, you see, because, well, it, they didn't have to do that. But if we went like this, then the pawn takes, then the rook takes the um, bishop, kings next to the rook. Rook could come down here because he's got a check on our king. We would then have to take and then the king would take the rook. So that would be a move order of types. So he's looking to double up himself and he's going to be on the inside of us. So I think we need to make some space for the king or could have moved the king here. So we move the king here. I don't really feel that it's nice there. Supporting the rook. Let's do that. It's probably going to take and double the pawns when the king moves, so maybe we don't. He's doubling, he's doubling. I'm going to take. Rook takes, rook takes. This might hurt a bit, so splits the pawns a bit. And his king is one stage of above us. Hmm. Do we exchange? I think maybe we look to dance with the rook rather than going for the simple exchange. Maybe splitting the pawn might have helped them. Let's go and attack. So his rook goes to the other side, which is happy. Let's go here, see if we can attack the king and the pawn. Bit of a rook dance. Let's go here, see if we can hit the king. Yep, let's go here, see if we can hit the king and the pawn. Let's go here, see if we can hit the king. And they look like they're happy for a draw. Happy with that?
Tenant O. Let's see what we've got. And develop the night. Okay, we've got a bit of a thinker. But let's just develop the night again. Mm -hmm. Let's get the bishop into some action. Let's open up the dark square bishop. Get ready for castle in. Excuse me. And let battle commence. Draw again. Uh, he who dares. I don't know if we can allow this. We go here. The knight just go one. We go one. We go one. We go one. We go one. The rook can take. His rook can't attack there. Hmm. What does he just do with this? Can we wear it or not? One. It's got no more checks on the king. But is he doing something fancy? Time's running out. I think we'll go with that and see what happens. Oh, he gets around there. It's a check on my king. Oh, this is not good, is it? Damn, didn't see that. He can just come all the way down and protect. Ah, oh, I didn't see it that way. I thought it was sailing home. Got a queen. Ouch, that had to hurt. Nice game. He who dares wins. Okay, they've gone for a small, tiny opening. Spin the bishop here in the center, then, and castle. Okay, two knight moves. What does that mean? It means psychologically, I'm thinking, well, they're either some sort of grandmaster and they're just wanting to style it out. Look at the position of these knights. I don't think that's the best, but there's obviously some method to the madness. So we're going to push the pawn up. 
and I think simply capturing here shouldn't cause us any troubles and we can take but we've got the power base here of two pieces so should we take it and let them get ownership of that area or should we just push past we know the head of the snake is going to fall if they don't then we can take advantage of it but for now we're okay with the pawn going let's get this knight developed so we've got the minor pieces developed nice and simple now the bishop is acting as a pawn which is a bit of a shame for the poor bishop isn't it what am i eyeing up my eyes are instantly jumping to here baiting the pawn maybe with the bishop going with the knight but there's no clear way in let's see what else is there don't want to rush it and find the wrong move shall we try and find the right move it's going to be a flank pawn attacking one of the strangely positioned knights let's keep pushing i want to see where it's going i'm not i'm not a fan of that really i'm not a fan of, this is our good bishop but if you get too embroiled, if I get too embroiled in good bishop, bad bishop, that type of thing, I end up messing my game up because I end up in this tension thing, you know, thinking, oh, I've got to keep the tension and all that. Queen could come and defend, but that's like keeping the tension. It's going to be taking the bishop here, which is the bad bishop. So they could take it and we don't mind doubling the pawns here. But for simplicity's sake, dude, just take it off the board. I'm not going to lose much in the terms of capturing that piece. We've got three pieces on there. They've only got two pieces defending. Well, not three, really, two. We've got two pieces attacking. So if the bishop takes, knight takes. So we can attack because we've got three pieces attacking. So the smaller piece can attack. I had to slow my brain down there because I was in narration mode. So they've gone attacking the knight, x-ray and through to the queen. Again, I have to be comfortable with doubling pawns if need be. So I don't really see that being an issue. We do have a smaller piece attacking, but we've only got two pieces. One of them's a smaller piece. So in essence, you think we would be able to get away with it. So we could push, pawn takes, pawn takes. But if you look at it, then the bishop can take and the, our queen can't take because we've not got enough pieces in that attack so let's see what the bishop wants to do the knight is currently protecting this pawn so if the bishop does take we can take with the queen making inroads towards their king area this pawn's going to go but that's a greedy munch for a bad position let's show you why I'm going to move the um, queen across bishop's quickly going to run here if not we can go for the cheapy and it's not doing that it's got the support of the queen again two attacks on the queen hasn't really improved their position single attacks because what they've done is given up the knight so single piece attacks not supporting each other and now they're giving pieces up so we'll just take with the queen take it out of the way and yes yeah, they're just giving pieces up now so yeah that was a pretty interesting game of um position play targeting looking at how many pieces are supporting how many pieces and shall we just go for the let's just do this it's just going to give pieces up anyway isn't it yeah let's do that let's give us the rook then thank you very much good game 10 and 0 let's just uh, develop the knight up supporting the pawn let's look to stop the fried liver attempt let's get ready for castling let's castle let's open up the white square bishop let's attack there bishop And the bishop's gone all the way back now that's a bit unusual let's attack the center pawn take with the knight or the bishop let's take with the knight take 
can I? So they're plus one at the moment, but have they improved their position? That's the key question. Let's bring the bishop here, targeting. And maybe get the queen up first. Get the queen up towards the king area. There's elements of take, 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 bit of pressure here. <clears throat> Obviously there's in between moves that they might take advantage of. Yeah, queen. All right, and bishop's protecting. Don't know why it's square. Knight's not moving. Bishop could move. Knight could move actually. It's got support. Push the pawn, but takes the bishop with the rook. Bring the bishop attacking the pawn. I think we might have to move the white square bishop. I think we'll move the knight first. We've we'll moved the knight, then he comes here. He's got a fork on us. Could move it here, but then we're, are we getting our queen trapped? Because they're going to drop this, and then the queen's got nowhere to go. Next best move. Maybe move the queen back. You don't need to have it there. Let's attack the queen. Yep. So they're plus one, but we're looking to try and shift. They're moving a bit quick there, which is, I think, good for us. I'm just going to bring the bishop out, attacking the knight. Let's jump in here. It's not jumping there. Let's attack the rook. It's got no support at the minute. Looks like it has, but it doesn't. Doesn't. Bishop's blocked in. So, what? The bishop's going to have to come in front to block it. Oh, maybe not. Or just take. Simple. Get the rook here. Does it trap itself? Got to be careful. Ah, now it's going there. So. Which is better, knight's getting all activated, but it's got nothing to hit. Or just attacking the knight, or bring the bishop here. Let's get busy. So yes, they're plus one, but they've got to take advantage of the plus one. Position on the board is always key. Alright, so he's attacking. Can bring the bishop here. Just to be a bit of a nuisance. So if we're thinking of getting in here, I don't really want to get my rook trapped, but you know, uh, elements of the king just being able to come here. It's getting activated with the bishop. Doesn't like our bishop. Don't think there's many more squares for me to move to apart from coming back here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right up. So still not doing anything now going here. Do we keep this bishop on somehow? I think it's just it's just gonna take us off the board. I'm gonna bring the rook up. But they either do this and do this to get the rook off or they move this to get the king to attack the rook. Whilst they're obviously taking the bishop. So we may as well do that one first. Preempt. Yep. Then the bishop blocks the rook in, which is what we were worried about, but we can just take their rook off the board. 
So as they're plus one, we would expect them to be trading down. Oh no, it's going for making the space one. Okay, so making the space, Knight can jump in, but again, it's not got anything. It's, it is attacking this pawn, I suppose. Let's attack this pawn. Bishop comes to defend the pawn. Yep, that makes sense. And just take. All right, so can't do this at the minute. Let's attack the bishop. Bishop doesn't want to be taken, comes here, or here. Yeah. So he's going for bishops of opposite colour, which really could end up just being a draw, even though they're plus one. Because we're going to be taking, they're going to take, and we've got a white square bishop, they've got a dark square bishop, and as, we've, as we know, they've got more pawns. So let's just simply take that off the board. It's a dark square bishop as well, so he's locked in this pawn. So basically, it will be able to take that at some point. So let's just get this pawn pushed up. Need to get the king activated. Yeah, he's coming straight for it already for our bishop. Are we able to push this pawn? These dry types of end games are the games that kind of shock you when you're playing over the board. You're like, I don't understand why I lost that, you know? Um, it's because really maybe you've not spent enough time in the end game. And so we've got the pawn back, but is our position any goodish? Move the king. Let's get onto a white square because he's got this coming through here. Let's just take, take. Um, I think we do need to get our king across here. But... His king's a little bit faster than us. Can we get defensive? So it does look it looks does look drawish. But you know, if the opponent makes a mistake, we might be able to make the king a little bit more active and get the aggressive king going. So if we're going on to white squares, he's gonna be putting pressure on our bishop. We need to get our king across. Next move, king down. No, he's not okay. Looks like he's preparing for a drawn position. Uh, my king is fast enough Oof. <laughs> to get to here. Maybe to do this, this, this. Onto a white square. Shouldn't have done that, but never mind, never mind. Oh, I thought they would have pushed past because having a pass pawn is better than nothing. This is the problem, isn't it? Because if they start here, they're going to get there before us. And we're in that rubbishy sort of zugzwangy type situation. I think I prefer my king to be here, but we're not going to get that tempo. Yeah, he drops there. If we get here, I think but that's better. Okay. Stop sweating now. Oh no, maybe not, because he's still in control. If we get to here, then, then we're in. It's not better control, it's just that at least then it's more drawish. Whereas if they had that, they could have come round and round and round, I suppose. So we try and go for this pawn here because it's not really protected by the bishop. Again, could be just drawish because it could just go up and down. But if we can keep this king in the corner, then at least it will be a guaranteed draw. And it looks like it's going to be a draw. 
happy with that because the king's not going to move. Yep, happy with that. That'll do. Three no. Let's get the knight out. Let's attack the pawn. Take. Take. And develop the bishop, supporting the pawn. Space for castling. Two pieces defending the pawn. And let's just take it steady. Shall we go? Hmm. He's I don't want to go this way. The knight's going to be attacking the queen. We're losing tempo. But it's not doing it just yet. Let's get our knight out. Space for attacking their queen. It's got like three pieces on there. Let's get the rook opposite their queen. Yeah, we said the knight was always going to be coming here. Let's just bring the queen here. Attacking the knight. Does he come down and support? It's probably one of the better moves for them okay so let's just hit our queen is protected by the bishop probably looking here but the queen is defending here as well oh he just attacks so we take the knight off the board take the queen okay so they're still making space through so we can take, but I think I'm going to take with the bishop on this one here. They're moving real quick, so are we going to lose some time? Let's just keep moving. Keep moving and let's see if we can just get pieces off the board or get them to trade pieces. It's not interesting. Yeah, let's trade. Let's, ooh, we can't go there. Oh, that was nice, but uh, let's go this way and get the rook. Let's take this rook off the board. Let's oh sure. let's take a pawn because the knight's going to be going anyway. Yeah, they're moving fast because they want to try and get us to lose on time. So let yeah, look at them. They're just going fast. Uh, let's push this pawn to block that pawn, and then push here. The bishops on the rook. It looks like they're frozen now. I think we've gone through the crazy 30 seconds. Potentially they've realised that they're not going to be win on time. So now they've just frozen. It happens in games like these. If you gain an advantage, the opponent just goes crazy. And it, it can fluster you. But yes, excellent. Nice game. Three and O. Oh. Let's attack the pawn. Let's push through into the center, attacking the pawn. Let's take the knight, take the pawn. Let's develop the bishop. Got them in long pause thinking already. Let's castle. Let's bring the bishop, queen back, sorry. Let's attack the king. Let's take the bishop. Let's attack the knight. Let's uh, bring the knight up. Just boy. Just a sec. And let's take the knight off the board. Let's not play. Let's push this pawn. Keep pushing. Oh, excuse me. This knight in the game. Let's take, let's take, let's attack the rook, rook comes to support, take it off the board, or do we take it off the board, good question, let's attack the rook, not sure about the deliberation, I think they I would have said they needed to because we have a check on the king. We can bring the knight across attacking their rook. Nice juicy square there. 
Hopping. Nope. Okay. He's not interested in any of that. Come back again, attack, but this time he comes here. So king across. So it's got a dark square bishop. It's got a dark square bishop. We've got to be mindful. King's on the dark square. Wants to move the knight out of the way. Attack the rook. Rook comes here, like we said. He's got the pawn. But the knight is on the pawn. Okay, it's no problem. <clears throat> move the king, attacking the rook. Knight's protecting the... Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, take the rook off the board. Speed over position. Excellent. Let's block. Get the knight out. Oh, aggressive hoofy. Let's just support the pawn. Let's get the bishop out. Let's take. Knight supporting. Bishop attacking. Queen supporting. Tactics coming in now. Look at the long pause. Okay, let's hit the knight. Let's get the rook on this file. It's bishop supporting pawn. Capturing. Take the knight, or shall we just leave it? Keeping the tension doesn't work for us. Not interested, let's just take and let's hit the bishop. Let's hit the bishop. Let's put a check on the king. Go for the queen. Obviously, we're not going to get it. Two. Oh, just about to say two on one on the bishop. So nice combinations building towards that, that end game there. Hmm. Three and oh. Said I was stopping them flank pawns, didn't I? But I'm feeling it's not that dangerous at this moment. Let's go here. Get the bishop. Let's support the pawn. Castle. Get the knight up. Take. X ray through. Oops, excuse me. What am I doing? What am I doing? Spring the knight up. Leave the knight there. Tuck this pawn. Take, take, let's push, free pawn, no, looks like they're taking the time, they're realising knight's coming here defending or something, or the queen's defending. These long pause moments do make me sick, so we could attack but the bishop can take. Let's bring the rook here. And it's just doubly protecting. So time wise, just take and double the pawns in front of the king. Let's get the queen up. Let's attack the quick king, sorry. It's escaping. Take. He's escaping, cheeky blighter. Let's go here, attack this pawn. Take with a check. 
so no the bishop comes there no it doesn't do that take with the rook take with the pawn take with the pawn free pawn again Bishop's got to be attacking the queen. Knight's attacking the queen. Something's attacking the queen. Let's take this. No protection. Free pawn again, but no. Cigar. Damn. Take. Oh, spoiling the show. Let's take. Let's take. Let's block the pawn. Oh, they resigned. That was a bit crazy, but that was a strange looking opening they did. So I think we did okay dealing with strangeness there. Looks like they're going for a fianchetto. Just one second, let me turn that up a bit. Let's do the blocking fianchetto line. Let's just bring the pawn here. Castle. So let's take. Let's x ray through baiting the pawn. Ah, oh, they're not baited. Right. Okay, cool. Let's bring the knight across. Knight's getting into some sort of action. Bishop's still safe. X ray through to the queen. Queen's move doesn't want any of them apples. Let's get the bishop attacking. Queen and the bishop are defending. Let's hit this queen. Let's take the bishop. Oh. I was just going to say, let's hang fire and probably take with the pawn, but too late now. So we've got there, uh, bishop can take. The queen is not going to take. So we can take. But the pawn can take. <laughs> That's okay. There's a bit of an issue. Let's get the queen here. It's not a big issue because the queen can defend, but if we got this here and could sort of mosey on. Oh, they resigned. Okay, nice one. Let me just have a quick look though, because it looked like a bit of work, that really. Minus three, minus three, minus, minus three. Yeah, that's good enough, yeah. The threat of attacking the King area, good enough. Nice one. <laughs>
you know. Let's develop the knight. Let's attack the pawn. Let's take. Let's bring the knight out. Let's support the pawn. Let's move the knight. Let's castle. Let's get the bishop out. Let's get the queen out. Let's reposition. Yeah, they're not a fan of that. Let's get the knight out. Let's push onto the pawn. Bishop's attacking the knight. Let's attack the bishop. Okay, letting them burn the time for a few seconds there. And to give them things to think about. In the recent games that we played, it seems to be working okay. Now they do have some sort of x-ray through to our king. Gonna hit this bishop, just to give them something to think about, and move the king. Bishops come round, let's attack the bishop. He's got this here, it's going to be a hitting our queen. Not doing that, so we'll take the bishop off the board and move the queen just a little bit up. Let's get this rook across, see if there's a rook rover attack on his king. I believe there's something. And let's get this other rook. Rook in the center of the board has no place, but I feel there is something. Let's attack the queen, take it off the board. Let's try to get this pawn out of the way, it's not happening, is it? Right, so... Can't get the rook here because of the knight, but this pesky knight needs to go. We're still ahead on time, and let's take... Now we can try and see if we can do something with this rook. The rooks. Oh, yeah, we can go here. We could. Well, the queen is defending, actually. The queen is defending. Let's. Could do that, but the pawn is defending. We'll put ourselves in a bit of a sticky situation. Let's go here. We had them panicking, though, with the rooks, but now we're losing time because we can't. Find a way in. Can we squeeze the queen in somehow? Oh, we've got a back rank. Damn, 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 damn. We've got back rank. Gonna have to take with this. Oh, we're on the same time as them now. I'm... Um, Struggling to find positions. Yeah, they've got back rank on us. Gonna have to move. And because we've spotted that, we've given them something to think about, which is good. Let their time burn. Move their king. So I'm gonna have to just move the king. They're obviously gonna hit the bishop. We can take this pawn oh no 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 dark square felt like we were doing so good but now they're squishing me somehow oh he's coming around the back it's coming around the back queen can protect let's see let's see what we do sorry the bishop can protect i think we're looking to get, yeah, okay, bishop can protect, like we said. Got a queen check, but the rook can defend, obviously. So we could get a draw. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. So if we did do that, he went down. He went down. Not much I'm going to be doing, is there? 
Right, so let's go there anyway. So they're on the pawn. Just put that check on while we're thinking. And 48, 48. Rook doing take. Take. Take, he gets the bishop. He's not going for the bishop. Move the bishop. Check. And they resigned. Nice one. Phew, pressure. Three and oh. Okay, they've gone for the old Fianchetto line. Let's go here. Let's get the bishop. Protecting the knight. It's going for the pawn. So this player is a quick and dirty tactics player. You can tell by the positioning that they're looking to get already. Let's bring this bishop here. And let's just keep the attack going. Do they start chasing? So I'm hoping these are going to burn time as well. And I'm hoping that the quick and dirty type, dirty type methodology uh, means they don't really know how to play chess. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. Let's just bring this bishop here. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's, shall we take, let's obliterate this center. Let's take, yep, happy with that. It's on a white square. Let's attack the queen with a smaller piece. Let's hope he lands on the bishop. Ooh, okay, but if he doesn't, knight can attack the queen. Wants to keep this, but he's not doing that. He's not landed on anything as yet. And that's where bishop Wants to get in, but it can't at this moment. What else can happen? Move the queen across. Get the rooks facing the queen. Don't overthink it. Burn a bit of time there. Get the rooks here facing the queen. Going to be hitting the knight, obviously. Come back and attack the queen. Gives us the excuse for a good position. Yeah, they're burning time again. Doesn't mean that time burners don't find the best uh, positions. You know, you've got those that um, are ultra bullet specialists and they just find a lot of miraculous stuff. So this allows us to attack the queen, gives us that tempo to attack the queen and also be able to take their bishop off the board when the queen moves. So yeah, let them keep burning the time. It's a zero increment. The art of playing blitz chess. Obviously, if it's increment, you can't, you don't get away with that. So we're going to take, like we said, and we have no longer have a dark square bishop chasing the queen. I would expect that they would probably take because it doubles the pawns. Doesn't do that, so it doubles the pawns in front of their king. Uh, Tonight, jumping here. Let's just stabilize these pawns. Maybe move the bishop, get it out of there. Let's move the knight. Ooh, king needs company. Let's go here. The king needs company. Oh, no, no, no. Look at that bishop. Look at that bishop. We need to get onto a dark square. How fast they're moving now. See, they were laboring, weren't they, over the moves, and now they're like an ultra bullet specialist all of a sudden. Let's bring the knight here. His knight's coming for our bishop now. Yep, and we can't go here because his bishop is there. Let's go here. So, fingers crossed, even though they. Our ultra bullet, as you can see, 
maybe we can not just yet because of the bishop let's attack their bishop we can just lock in now with the pawn that slows them down if he does that because they haven't got much time left so i'm happy for them to lock that in and they haven't they've gone for the dangerous one and we can just move here with the king or we can take the pawn and then the rook takes you know what i'm going to take and the rook takes all the oh even better right fine fair enough there we go they don't have much time left like we said we know they're an ultra bullet specialist type thing let's take this knight now they're panicking which is good let's just bring the rook back supporting the pawn let's get the knight up put a check on the king let's put a check on the king locking in the rook and now all we need to do is just sit back and watch the time go down there's going to be sacrifices all over the place but there's not enough time to cause any damage to us in that sense let's go here could have actually brought the other rook but that don't matter doesn't make a difference really let's go here we've only got five seconds left king's protecting this rook it's looking to put checks on, King can come here supporting and the time runs out.